Hey guys, I'm here with Erin Pratschari, who uh, owns boot camp here in Alameda, California, called um, Power Fitness PDX. And she also writes on her website called deeplayhard.com. Anyway, Erin's been in the fitness industry for 16 years, so I thought she could share a bit of wisdom with us today. <laughs> so we were talking earlier and um, I asked her what was like the biggest mistake she felt she made on early on that she could share with other trainers and um, I don't you tell us. So it's been pretty interesting because when you think about what you with evolving over time in fitness and now at first when you first start training and starting your boot camps you're pretty green and eager to make it work for everybody else but then you're running around and you're at the end of the day you find that you're pretty wiped out and you haven't made it work for yourself and so one of the biggest I don't know if I say it mistakes but learning experiences if I can prevent anybody else from doing it uh, straight away when they first get started in the fitness industry is to set set specific hours for yourself and for your clients therefore your time is valuable and they realize that your time is valuable and they'll be less apt to cancel will be less apt to not show up to classes um, and be ready to come because that's their time with you and they'll be so uh, just excited and appreciative of the value to it as well and realize what a difference it makes if they miss that window of opportunity to train with you versus yeah. not. And so that's one of the, the nuggets I would pass along. Um, yeah. Yeah, and so and I restarted my business from relocation, and a couple of different times from having owned a fitness business, sold a fitness business, um, and being the sole owner. And with re even starting it back to California from Oregon, that was one of the first items I did put into place is being specific about hours. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Erin. You're welcome. Yeah.